Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Nahid Akhtar and in this video, I'm going to talk about array formulas and how to use them in Google Sheets. Now before we talk about array formulas, we need to first understand what arrays are. Well, the concept of arrays actually comes from the mathematical concept of matrices. You can think of an array as a set of values that are organized into rows and columns. For example, this is an array of four rows and three columns. Now, you must be thinking, well, this is just a range of cells. And you're right. In Google Sheets, an array is just like a group of cells in a worksheet. So, you now know what an array is. Then what is an array formula? An array formula is a function that is applied to elements of an array. The difference between an array and a regular formula is that a regular formula returns a single cell value, while an array formula returns an array or a range of cells as its output. This will get clearer as we see some examples. Let's say you have a data set like this with unit cost and quantity sold for each item. To find the total sales amount for each item, what would you usually do? You would multiply the unit cost with the quantity sold for the first item by using the formula equal to B2 times C2, right? And then use the autofill or the fill handle to paste the formula down to the other cells of the column. So for five items, you now have five different formulas, right? If you had 500 items, you would have 500 formulas. Now let me show you a cool hack. Instead of having so many formulas, you could just use one formula to display the result in all the cells of this column. And you can do that by using an array formula. First, replace the individual cell references with references to the range of cells. So, so we could use the reference B2 to B6 instead of just B2 and similarly C2 to C6 instead of just C2. Okay? We're not done yet. Let me just remove all this. Okay? We now come to the part where we apply the array formula. You see, you just see one result right now. You don't see any other result, right? So we now come to the part where we apply the array formula. Now there are two ways to apply an array formula. One is by using the array formula function and wrapping it around your actual formula. So we can simply type equal to array formula and surround this formula with parentheses. Another way to apply the array formula is to simply select the formula in your formula bar and press the shortcut Control, Shift and Enter from your keyboard. And there you go. When you press the return key, you get a whole array of results and if you click on any other cell of this column, you'll see there's just one formula. The formula in the first cell. All other results are part of the result of this array formula. Fun thing is, this formula is dynamic. So even if you add a new row to this range, okay, so let's just put like, let's say five here and two here. You'll see the formula expand its results to the new row. Let's try deleting a row. And see, the formula works just fine. Now let's say your main target is not to know the item by item total sales, but just to know the grand total of all the sales. So we don't really need this intermediate column at all. We could skip this step and directly get the grand total of all the sales using the array formula function. So all you would need to do is multiply row wise cells of the range B2 to B6 and C2 to C6. Wrap an array formula around it and this would return a range of cells with each product. 
Now simply find the sum of this returned array using the sum function. And when you press the return key, there you go. You got your grand total without having to display the set of intermediate product results. So I hope with these two examples, I've been able to make the concept of array formulas clear for you. There are a number of other ways that you can apply this function to get quick and smart results. You can read more about it in our article that we have linked in the description below. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you would like to see more videos like these, press subscribe to get notified when we post a new video. That's it for now. Thank you and have a nice day.